Hi everyone, Lisa Donnelly here. You're going to have to forgive me, I'm not as great with the video stuff as Steph is, and I'm trying to do this all on my own. So, uh, as you can see, I'm holding out my little camera in front of me, and hopefully this is going to work out, and you'll get the idea of how much this six-week challenge has meant to me, because I will tell you, this six-week challenge has been the best six weeks Ever. I can't tell you how much it has meant to me. I have accomplished so much and I have gained so much strength and confidence and ability to push all of my friends to accomplish the same things that I have. I just, I can't tell you how excited I am about the whole thing and how much I want to continue and how excited I am to do that. So first of all, I guess I'm going to tell you a little bit about my challenges that I set up for myself or the goals. I had two goals. My first goal was that I wanted to complete the challenge without falling off the training schedule, without derailing myself or thinking that I was messing up or all of those things that I always do that ruin any type of fitness schedule that I'm trying to work on. And I'm happy to tell you that I so accomplished that goal. There was absolutely not one single point where I thought, Lisa, you can't finish this. You're never going to make it. Every day, some of those challenges were hard, and I'll tell you, some of them were harder than others. That summer fitness workout about killed me. The uh, crab thing was next to impossible, but maybe that was one of my favorite ones because it was so hard. I don't know. I'll let you know I'm going to keep working on that one. Um, but all in all, every time there was something I thought I couldn't do and I achieved it, it just made me feel prouder of what I was accomplishing and it made me want to do something more every single day. Um, and I think probably all of my friends were so sick of hearing what I was doing. Oh, my six-week challenge this and my six-week challenge that. And all of the different things about it, it was, it was just amazing. And the fact that I loved talking about my exercise and I loved just everything about it, it was so amazing. I, I can't stop talking about it. As you can see, I'm going on and on now. My second goal was I have always wanted to be able to run 5K. Walking 5K, no problem. I mean, I've, I've actually walked several marathons. I walked the Dublin Marathon. I walked the Disney Marathon. I walked the Philadelphia Marathon. I did them all in under five and a half hours, which if you've ever walked a marathon, that's considered a pretty good time. I mean, some of the runners don't even finish uh, walking that fast. But I have never been able to make myself even run 5K. I did a triathlon. I did a triathlon, okay? I swam a half a mile. I walk, or I biked 16 miles, and I walked the 5K. I mean, really? How pathetic is that? That's sad. So my goal for this was to train and make it through the entire 5K. Well, I knew that with the program I was following, which is an eight-week um, you know, like those Couch to 5K programs, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to complete the entire 5K training. But last night, which was Monday night, today's Tuesday, last night I finished um, day, day two of week seven. And I ran 20 minutes continuously, which was the longest I've ever run continuously. And that was the appropriate amount of time for that, for, for that night. So I have four more days now, I think, to complete the training, and at the end of those four days, I will be able to run a complete 5K. And believe me, there is absolutely no way that I will not be able to do that. Um, and this time next week, well, okay, the, the end of next week, check me out. I will be telling you, I can run 5K. And I'm going to go down to the track, even though I never run on a track. I'm going to run, go down to the track and do the whole track thing, circle, circle, circle around the track, to make sure that, in fact, I actually can run 5K. So I'm pretty proud of myself at this point. I think I'm doing great. 
beyond just the two goals I set up for set up for myself, there were a lot of other things that I got out of this. Um, I have some props here, okay? So first of all, let me dig through. When I first started running, this shirt, do you see this hard shirt? I mean, it's a, it's a decent shirt, but it's a plain old t-shirt. This shirt, kind of smells, um, was the only shirt that I would use for running. That was it. I, I wouldn't let anybody see anything. I, I hid myself. It was horrible. Now, when I go out to run, let's see if I can hold this, prop this up in a way that I can show you this. Okay. This cute little shirt. Ta-da! Ta-da! Little sleeveless shirt, little jog bra thing going on here. Can you see it? Yeah. That and these cute little pants that actually are like tight fitting. Yeah. That is what I go and I go out and do my running in. My almost running in. So just to have the confidence to put that on and not feel like people are saying, what is that chick doing? That confidence is amazing. It's amazing. I can't even tell you how good that feels. I mean, I'm not kidding anybody. I'm not telling you that I look like some stu superstar athlete out there. No, there's there's still plenty of stuff that's got to come off. I got, see this, I got some wing stuff going on. I've got, you know, uh, you know same stuff most people my age have going on. A uh, little cowlick thing going on right now. But, um, yeah, I keep trying. And you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks because it's what I need to do. And you know what? It doesn't look that bad. And let's see, what else do I have over here? Um, last year, this shoe, see this shoe? Very cute shoe, by the way. Little wedge action going on there. Silver. Awesome, awesome shoe. I don't know, can you see it? Anyway, last year, last summer, that was the shoe I wore all summer. This year, there has been an amazing change. That shoe, while I still love that shoe, and I'm sure you can see why, and I still do wear it, is no longer my favorite shoe. This year I have two favorite shoes. First favorite shoe. Ta-da! First favorite shoe. The first favorite shoe is the shoe that I wear when I go out to run. I love, love, love my running shoes. They are amazing. They make me run fast. Okay. That's a big lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm a slow runner, but I'm out there running, and that's what's the most important thing. And second prop, third prop, whatever. Here's my next prop. This is my other favorite shoe. Can you tell what this shoe is? I'll turn it around. It might help. Ta-da! These are my spin shoes. I am now spinning at least twice a week, and I am kicking butt. And in that class, I definitely am kicking butt. Um, I've been spinning since April, so it's something I started before this challenge. But I was only going once a week then. Now I have fit it into my cardio program at least twice a week. And, oh my gosh, it is so, so much fun. I have an amazing spin teacher. I have a great time at class. In fact, after I'm done, put it, after I'm done going through this video... That's where I'm headed to, putting on my, my favorite shoes, yay! And along with my favorite shoes, wait, I dropped it. I even went out and got bicycle pads, yay! Look, see? Bicycle pads, yay! Okay, but here's the thing, I gotta tell you. Nobody looks good in bicycle pants. I don't care how fit you are. I don't care how hot you are. Nobody looks good in bicycle pants. But the fact of the matter is, the fact that you've got your butt in the spin room or you've got your butt on your bike and you're out there using your bicycle pants, you look amazing. You look amazing. So go for it. Get yourself the comfortable pants. They make all the difference in the world. And I am so, so happy that I did. Let's see, what else do I have over here? Aha! 
another big change. This, you know what that is? This is my ice cream scoop. Now, I am not going to lie to you and tell you that I did not have my very most favorite Almond Joy ice cream this summer. I did. But, you know what the thing is? I had it twice. And the two times that I had it, it was the most decadent treat I had. It was amazing because I didn't want to have it all the time. I wasn't craving it all the time. And when I had it, it was just like a super duper treat. Something that I let myself have just because I felt good. And it seemed like, why not? It wasn't something I had to feel guilty about. And it was a fantastic, fantastic feeling. Let's see. Now, so what did I change my treats to? Funny, funny that you should ask. Because this is one of them. And I think you'll recognize this because, Steph, this came up on your video a couple days ago. And this one's really cold because I just took it out of the refrigerator. And I can't wait to eat it right after I'm done here because I'm going to have it before swing class. And then my other treat, and I think you're going to recognize this one. Ta-da! Can you see it? Okay, that one's a little overdone, but that is the um, peanut butter chocolate chip brownies. They are amazing. They are amazing. Um, I love them. I got to tell you, it was very, very hard for me not to break into them before this video, but I thought it would look better if they were still whole when I, when I started talking. So maybe I'll let myself have that for a treat tonight. I cut them up. I put make them into like little one inch, one inch square bites. Put them in baggies, and like maybe two baggies, and put them in the ref in the freezer. That way, I actually don't go after the whole thing at a time because I don't know if any of you actually made them, but they are so delicious that you really want to eat the entire pan of them. So in order to stop myself from doing that, um, I put them in the freezer in the cellar. It's much harder to get to them there. And leave three or four of them upstairs. That's that's okay. I can deal with that. And um, let's see. What else? I've just been... I just want to say that overall, this experience has been one of the most amazing experiences I have ever had. I feel like every night I checked in, the encouragement that I got kept me going. Um, to hear what everyone else was doing and see everyone else's posts was so much fun to see what you thought of the different workouts and if you were having trouble with the same stuff I was or with the different things you saw in your rainy day runs was really cool. I mean, I, I happen to be a person that loves to be part of a community like that. I love to talk to other people about things we're doing, whether they're people I really know or people I only know through this. So, um, I don't know. It was just great. I loved it. I feel like I can't even begin to explain how wonderful all of the different things I gained from this were. Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting all teary from it. How, <laughs> how silly is that? Um, a little crazy, I guess. But I wanted to say thanks to you, Steph, and thanks to everyone else who participated in this program. The confidence I gained the love I gained to work out, the feelings I get when I work out. I never understood what endorphins were. I never understood what the runner's high. Honestly, I thought those people were nuts. I never, never, never thought I would be a person who would say, oh, I go out to run because of the way it makes me feel afterwards. It's the most amazing thing. And I'll be darned, it is. It really is. How is that possible? I don't know. I really, really don't know. But I I have this program to thank for getting me to that point. This program and Steph for putting it together for me. Because if, if I didn't find this by accident on the internet like I did, 
I can't say that October, uh, not October, August 12th, I would be sitting here putting this video together feeling as happy and excited and as proud of myself as I do. So I'm going to stop rambling now because I've been going on for 15 minutes, but thank you all for sticking together and putting this program together and everybody for making it what it was because I think while Steph did so much for all of us, I think it was a group effort by everyone who participated. And I hope everyone else got all of the same wonderful things out of it that I did because it was truly, truly amazing. Thanks so much. Bye. Don't drop off with doing all of your exercises. Keep up with it, everyone, okay? Bye.